everyone and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for uh, November the 26th through December the 2nd. And this is uh, for your sun, moon and rising. So if you know your uh, moon and rising as well, check those uh, videos out. All links, pertinent links will be in the show more section below. Um, this is a Listen, this is a general reading, guys. So if you would like a personal reading, click on this link here. Um, also, check me out on uh, Patreon. Patreon is a way to give back to creators. And actually, I am I'm working on a book. Um, so it would really help me if you could um, support me there. And if you would like to check that out, click on here. Okay, so without further ado, guys, I'm going to go straight to your readings. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading for, um, ex <coughs> excuse me, for no, uh, November the 26th through December the 2nd. I am not well, hence you not seeing me, um, but I will uh, be sh shuffling the cards, <coughs> excuse me while I'm giving you your horoscope and um, please forgive my coughing and spluttering um, at least you don't have to see my swollen face darling <laughs> anyway um, I you were the lowest <laughs> you were the lowest views last week so you are the last I am now recording these videos um, I record them from the highest viewed to the to the lowest in that thing so thank you for your uh Thank you for your uh, patience. I already did the intention on this before. Um, so I am going to shuffle and uh, give you your horoscope. Now, you have Jupiter and the sun, darling, conjunct in your home, in your house, the ninth house of spirituality, uh, philosophy, higher learning, freedom. Um, I have a feeling that look the sun's shining on you you are feeling great you are feeling free freer than you have for a while and and i feel that you are you could be tra uh planning a spiritual retreat something like that you're definitely focused on um you know the mystic arts the uh, occult probably uh studying it in some way or watching lots of videos or you are into it um it is of great interest to you right now. Um, now, listen, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, Mercury is joining it too. So, gosh, you've got the potential for brilliant ideas. I will say if you are planning travel, just don't, uh, you know, do all the plans. Yes, but don't confirm anything until after the 7th. Um, this is a beautiful energy for you. I'm so happy for you, uh, uh, Sagittarius. Now, um, on Friday, you have Venus in Libra opposing uh, Uranus in your house of community. Um, so I feel that there's sudden ch there's a lot of changes going on in your community. In you know, perhaps you're uh, involved with a group or or some kind of organization and there's changes going on there um but i think they're changes for the better uh, uh so i think whatever's going on you will feel uh it's it's a good thing it's a good change um now later on you're going to have uh mercury is going to be leaving the you know it's going to be traveling back into uh scorpio and the day after uh, Venus will be traveling into Scorpio. When when planets change signs, we really, really feel that energy. Just let me do this uh, intention. Um, this is for Sagittarius. These are clarifying cards for Sagittarius for November the 26th through December the 2nd. <clears throat> and um, so where were we? Uh, yes, so when, we, when they change signs, this is to uh, clarify the Four of Swords, please. Uh, when they change signs, we really feel that energy and it's intense, you know, I mean, uh, it's going to happen in your 12th house, your house of spirituality 
hidden secrets and things like that and deep uh well also the ethereal it's it's a connection with um the higher realms you know so i feel that this is very deep and um and perhaps you know look you have to be very careful with communications during this time with mercury in retrograde uh you know be careful be cautious about what you say and how you say things um it's a very sensitive time also um and and you could have a hidden enemy somewhere uh you might discover that too there are you know some people you might have a hidden enemy um anyway uh and also mars <coughs> excuse me is uh square sorry the sun is squaring mars well listen uh, that's also reacting from emotions be very very careful what you say to people how you say it to them we all have to in that energy um, because our tendency is to you know react emotionally and you know it's so funny the page of swords has come out for nearly everyone you've got the page of swords here and that is all about um uh, communication you know and saying things in hurtful ways without meaning to hurt someone it's the truth right but you know um it's hurtful no matter what anyway let's that's enough of your uh, horoscope <coughs> let's go to your cards and the first card out is the four of swords look you're going to be feeling extremely energized excuse me with this uh with jupiter in play you're going to be excited you're going to be enthusiastic and and in all this enthusiasm make sure you get enough rest um, the Four of Swords is exhaustion, mental and physical exhaustion. So make sure you're getting enough sleep or meditation. Meditation is always a way to um, have sleep, you know, to get sleep. And you have the Queen of Earth. This is definitely manifestation. Things are manifesting for you in a very big way. She's manifesting through hard work. You've got to put the effort into it, though, um, Sagittarius. You're not going to get you're not going to get something for nothing. You really have to work at it. Um, um, but in doing it, you must remember to get enough sleep. And you've got the six of earth. This is help is coming in for you. I'm really feeling that you're getting help. And that the help could be, you know, the planetary transits. This could be what's helping you. And you are, I'm sorry for sniffling. I'm really sorry. Um, you have the six of wands, which is your being your listen, these are this is public accolades. You are being celebrated in some way. And look, you've got the transformation. I feel that something's really changing for you in a big way. And this is what I see. I see the three of air. This is pain. I feel that you've got to you're going to release once you release this pain, things are really going to change for you in a great way. It's time to release that childhood pain, um, <clears throat> that deep rooted pain that comes up. Sometimes this is kicked up by somebody's little action, but takes us right back to this pain. It's an old ingrained pain and you're being it's coming up because it's time for you to release it. Look, you see that this is releasing that pain. And in releasing it, you'll be transformed and celebrate this is not you celebrating this is you being celebrated and what's wonderful is right so you've got this the six of air now somebody could be delivering you this message this is a message of truth and you may not want to hear it and um and you know you rejecting this message but when this comes in it's saying don't reject it this is the truth you need to try to uh, decipher what's what works for you, what's the truth, what you can own, and uh, <clears throat> and then you can change it. Sometimes we have to look at the truth, painful though it is, right? And if this is you giving out information, you ha be a little softer. Look, this truth is going to lead to you being celebrated. So this is really, this is major growth that's going to happen for you. And if you can just release this pain, this old childhood pain, 
totally transform. Look at the truth in the situation. You've got two six of wands, darling. This is major uh, accolades for you. So things really can really change for you, uh, Sagittarius. Um, take, you know, get enough rest. Um, help is coming in, but you must kind of look at this pain and release it. You know, connect the dots, darling. Connect the dots. Own what's yours. Don't be defensive. It's very important to not be defensive. And in in owning it and looking at it, you will be celebrated. Things you're going to feel celebrated, and it's going to be a wonderful uh, time for you, Sagittarius. I'm sorry for my coughing and spluttering. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sorry you can't see me, but I'm sure you wouldn't be sorry if you did see me. <laughs> Um, please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah, I love you all and I'll see you next week. <laughs>